picked up these two end tables at a garage sale for $20 for the pair and I'm anticipating this being a super quick project just to clean, paint, maybe um, fix the hardware a little bit and then put it on the market. So let's see. Now these are in great shape, um, so I'm simply going to wash them even on the inside of the drawers just to clean them up a little bit. And after I finish scrubbing them down with Dawn dish detergent, then I'll rinse it with some clean fresh water and then I'll be ready to proceed. Okay, so I have my surf prep connected to my dust extractor and I'm going to start sanding the top of this dressing room, that side table. Now this is the one that I thought maybe the finish had been busted through. I don't think it's a gouge in the wood. I think it's just the finish. So I'm going to start with 100 grit sandpaper. I do have the um, squishy pad. I can't remember what it's called right now on my surf prep so that when I do get to the rounded corners, I can do so without damaging the curve of the um, furniture. Let me see if I can get these on. I struggle with these. Now I am going to turn my dust extractor on. It's a DeWalt dry vac. All right, look. It's hardwood on the top. So now I need to decide, am I going to Stain the top, paint the bottom, or paint the whole thing. One way or another, I'm going to go ahead and sand down to the bare wood, and I can come to that decision later on when it's time to paint. All right, so the top is smooth, or the finish is now removed. I'm going to switch my, oops, my sanding pad to a 220. I have some ideas for the top, but they'll probably change several times. So I'll keep them to myself for now. But let me finish sanding down to wood, the top on the other piece. Then I'm going to scuff sand the whole thing with 220. You want to roughen up that finish uh, with 220 so that when you prime and paint, the primer, or if you do straight to paint, has something to grip to. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm just gonna paint the tops of these side tables and I'll show you why. They have this groove here and I don't know if I'll be able to properly sand down there to make that match the stain if I were to stain the top. Also, this is pine and I don't know how nicely, nicely that would stain. Plus I said this was going to be a quick and easy flip. So I don't wanna get into that monkey shine. So I'm going to paint but I want to show you something because I sanded down to raw wood and because some of the drawers now have little bits of um, Bondo. I'm going to spray just the tops and the fronts of the drawers with some shellac based. Well, it's shellac. I'll show you. It's clear shellac and it'll just seal in any tannins so that um, nothing will bleed through the paint since it's now raw pine and um, give me a uniform surface to paint on as well. know what color I'm going to be painting these two side tables. I know it's not going to be a light color, but I am going to prime it. Primarily because I sanded down to bare wood. Now granted, I spot sprayed them with some clear shellac, but I still think it's a good idea for me to go ahead and prime these. So I'm going to prime it with a tinted primer. I just used my Wagner to spray paint something white. Uh, I'm going to 
scrape out as much of that white paint as I can from the vessel. Not even bother with cleaning it because after all, what I'm about to do for these side tables is just the um, primer. benefits of priming is you start to see imperfections that you couldn't see before paint was applied. This is smooth, so I'm not sure what this is unless it's bleeding. Over here, I'm noticing lots of um, grain coming through, so I'm going to do a skim coat of wood filler, sand that smooth, put another coat of gray primer there. And then over here, I think I need to fill in those dings and I think yeah and that little one too. So now that I have that all figured out, it's time to paint. And I'm using a color called Burnished Pewter. It's the same paint that I used when I painted my son's dresser. That video is called Christian's Dresser and I'll try to remember to link it below. Um, it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, filter it into the, um, the vessel and then I'm going to water it about 10% water. That was real time. 
That's how fast it was to do one side table and the two drawers. Now I have to do the other. I used up the last bit of this can. That's This is the can I had purchased when I did Christian's dresser. And I knew I was going to need more. So I went ahead and bought, wouldn't you guess, Valspar's cabinet and furniture paint in the same color. This has a built-in top coat, but you've heard me say this before, I'm still gonna end up putting some sort of a top coat, whether it be poly or wax or whatnot. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my second coat of paint on with this. The texture's a little orange peely again, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the first coat was bare and that just didn't go on as smoothly as the Valspar. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and seal it. I have mixed in my sprayer some polycrylic and clear mat, and I put two or three spoonfuls of the burnished pewter to tint the polycrylic so that it goes on less streaky. So I'm gonna go outside and, and paint that. I modified the existing hardware by taking off that decorative piece in the back. I just recently posted a video on how you too can do this. Then I cleaned what was remaining by boiling it in equal parts water and white vinegar, and then I scrubbed it with Barkeeper's Friend. And although they cleaned up nicely, in the end I decided to spray paint them a flat black. I did several coats both sides and then sealed it now before I show you the after pictures, I wanted to mention that if this is the kind of content that interests you, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that like button below. It's a small channel of mine, but it's always a kick to see it grow. And if you have a constructive thought or if you have a question for me, please leave me a comment below. I do enjoy replying to every single one. Thanks so much for watching guys.